Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Ousmane Dembele plays with Kylian Mbappe in the wide areas. And the striker today is Marcus Turan. And so the battle commences. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, and it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Uber Mercado. Aurelien Chouameni. Teo Hernandez. Mbappe. Played into the box. Still not clear. Well, full marks to him for that header. But the goalkeeper did his job. So now a corner. They favoured a short one here and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Tempele, the defender doing his job. Elects to go short. Tempele with the cross. He just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Joao Cancelo. Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. This might be ideal for the counter. Kunde. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And options in the centre. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And 
and the keeper more than equal to the task. And how about the short corner? He got in the way of that cross. And the referee says corner kick. Whipped in by Griezmann. Leal. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Could be. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And there's the delivery. And he did what he had to do defensively. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And still a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Tempele. Disappointing pass. Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, big chance. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Playing it in. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Ronaldo. And saved by the keeper. Who's going to get on the end of it? And clearing us away. Joao Felix. Crossed into the penalty area. Oh, what an astonishing goal! One for the archives. Remember where you were when it happened. Unforgettable. Well, I don't think I'm going to get tired of seeing this, Derek. We've had Mkhitaryan, we've had Giroud. Now watch this. It's unbelievable agility and technique just to react to the ball, let alone get it on target. You won't see a better goal all year. That's absolutely stunning. moving again 2-0 is how it stands Kylian Mbappe Mbappe oh he's given it the referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. This to get themselves back into it. Save, but still a chance. And they can keep possession of it now. Breaking at pace. And it was a good counter-attack in the making but very alert defending it might be oh a stellar piece of defending Kunde well doesn't have to do it on his own now sliding in field Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. Well, France just a goal behind now. And you never know. You sense the momentum may be with them. 
Bernardo Silva. Making progress. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. Not to be this time. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. And so it is, the first-half story has been written. And back underway with France looking to find a route back into this game. Radio takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Intercepting it intelligently. Rafael Leao. Opportunity. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Mbappe. Tempele. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Needs to clear it away. It must go in, surely. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So the ball is running again at 2 all. And he takes on the shot and searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Not the best clearance. Neves. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. Ronaldo! How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris! Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Turan. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes. Neves. Now with Ronaldo. Here's Ronaldo. Can they keep it out? And he clears it out of harm's way. Radio. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it fizzled out. Ronaldo. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Here it is now, a substitution. And over comes the corner. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. He's got to score! Oh, it's in! They take the lead here, 
And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Shot attempted. Oh, good save. Who can they pick out? And an effective clearance. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Upa Makano. Shuameni. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. But they took care of the situation defensively. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Whipped in by Griezmann. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Neves on the ball Rafael Leal and it's fallen for Ronaldo wonderful block a goal and that is going to be that name on the trophy for certain Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Ronaldo. Well, the supporters think it's on. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Still not clear. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Continues his run, and he's broken free. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Ronaldo! Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.